Okay, we're back in the bathroom. And hello, everybody. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you about hair care and um, hair care products because I um, I want to have I have hair care products before I shaved my head before I um, bleached my hair and I have wanted to use the hair care products that I have in order to um, not go out and get more products and also to not waste the products I have here with me and so in this video I want to talk about hair care for um, people with no hair or bald head in some ways um, and there are many interesting things that happened um, in the other video I was making um, for some reason I had assumed I don't know why I think I wrote it down as July 15 as the date um, I shaved my head but I shaved my head on July 21st 2023 so um, I keep on saying all the dates precisely um, anyway I, I shaved it uh, two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago but for some reason when I wrote it down I had I would because I was trying to remember how I washed my hair when I washed my hair because I've been washing my hair quite frequently and from the looks of it I'm probably gonna wash it every uh, couple of days and it has been a very interesting um, it's been very interesting for me to kind of pay attention to how frequently my scalp had needed cleansing because generally I, when my hair is longer I don't need this much shampooing I don't need this much uh, cleaning I mean now I have reduced my hair to being shampooed one time I do I have gone back to using a moisturizing shampoo but I am still not using conditioner because um, it would just cause me to have to wash my hair a lot more faster so um, I just wanted to actually recap on like how I washed my hair because that was an extremely interesting um, interesting way to um, to realize that my scalp itself needed separate cleaning and my scalp my scalp itself needed needs its own care and so I washed my hair on July 21st 2023 the day that I shaved my head obviously because I needed to get all the um, all the little hair and I shampooed one time and when I shampooed I shampooed using the uh, this is the Giovanni repair blackberry coconut milk shampoo so I shampooed one time using um, this and then I used the conditioner, the Giovanni conditioner, and I got out and I used um, a tiny bit of mixed chicks. And I will review the different uh, leave in conditioners that I have been uh, exploring. A tiny bit of this. And then I have like a little bit of oil that I mix myself. Um, I put that on my hair and I went about my day. Uh, no, that was I went to sleep because I, I washed really late. Um, and then by the time it was, so it's that Friday. By the time it was like, I think Monday, Tuesday, my hair and my scalp had needed to be washed again. So. I ended up I think wash I think I ended up washing it on Tuesday actually because I thought how could my hair uh, my scalp be 
need washing in just um, in just like you know three days because usually when I wash my hair twice a week I'm actually trying to hydrate my hair um, I do shampoo but I only shampoo one time I, I will shampoo at least two times because I'll need it if I'm using moisturizing shampoo because they're not as cleansing as the regular shampoo and so uh, on the either I think it was on the 25th I ended up washing my hair um, I thought okay I, I need to wash my hair so I used the same Giovanni shampoo but I shampooed two times instead of one time and then I still used the conditioner just a little bit of the tea like a small amount of the conditioner and then I think I got out and I, I also again used the leave-in conditioner and oil on the Tuesday and then by the time it was the Thursday Friday I had needed another washing and I think by this point I caught up to the idea that something was not exactly um, for some reason my scalp needed more washing and I think most of what happened was that uh, maybe when you are uh, when you have less hair um, the things in the environment end up maybe getting you know closer to your scalp and then it gets stuck with the natural oils and then you end up needing to wash it more because I just couldn't I mean it just seemed a little too actually the only way I was avoiding to not wash it basically every other day was I was uh, brushing my scalp and I was brushing whatever hair was on my scalp and that first week was also a difficult week because I ended up not being able to uh, I think to like enjoy like a, few, a couple of days because my scalp became a little bit bruised up from uh, maybe you know I was scratching it too hard or uh, again, maybe I thought, you know, it's not being washed properly for some reason, but I use the same method when I have longer hair and for some reason when I have little hair, it, it doesn't work. And so by the time it was the Thursday, Friday, I needed washing again. So what I did was I again used the Giovanni shampoo and um, I used the Giovanni shampoo and then I ended up not conditioning my hair and I think when I got out I um, ended up using a little teeny tiny bit of oil I did not use a leave-in conditioner um, I shampooed two times and then I used oil to condition the hair instead of instead of using actual conditioner and by the time it was the Sunday, because I washed my hair on Sunday, the 30th, um, I realized that there's something severely wrong and it must be the shampoo. That's what I thought. So I ended up um, using, I have the Ordinary uh, Sulfate Shampoo. This is a good cleansing shampoo and I I appreciate the shampoo. Um, I was using this on my hair when I had longer hair. Um, I was actually alternating it with um, the Giovanni moisturizer. This, this shampoo is meant to be moisturizing. Obviously, this is for repair, so if you have colored hair, this is a great shampoo to have, but um, I, I was not, able to cleanse my scalp very well with the uh, with that Giovanni shampoo which honestly I still I, I don't understand why this happened or how this happened so I use this ordinary shampoo I love the ordinary products I, I, I love the ordinary skincare products um, the shampoo I think it has been a little too stripping for my for my for my hair and I used to actually love using the, these types of shampoos, but 
um, after living abroad, I just learned that it's just much better to use gentler moisturizing shampoo than to use like very cleansing shampoo like this. Now this is not a purifying shampoo or this is not a uh, clarifying shampoo. It just cleanses very well. It's like basically like soap. And I do have the conditioner as well. I like both of these products. I like the uh, the Ordinaries. Um, the conditioner is also not as conditioning. Um, yeah, these are meant to be cleansing products. They're not exactly like gentle cleansers. And so um, on that Sunday, I washed it with the Ordinary Shampoo and Conditioner and it lasted up until the Friday. And by that Friday, I was like, okay, so this is the longest I've been able to go without having to shampoo my hair. So that's like five days. But on the Friday, I did wash it and I washed it with the Giovanni. Um, I went back to the Giovanni shampoo. I shampooed one time and I did not condition. And, um, and I'm gonna wash it today, Sunday. Um, and I, this has been making me realize how, um, I, I actually don't know why and how your hair can need, um, more, more shampooing and more washing as a shorter hair or when you have no hair. Um, so I have been kind of trying to make to make sense of my hair care routine because uh, two years ago when I dyed my hair, I ended up switching up a lot of my hair care because like before, like for over 10 years before 2021, I was basically just um, using most of the time uh, up until maybe like 2017, I was using, you know, any shampoo that would clean my scalp and my hair well, and then I would use oil, and that was basically my hair care. But by the time it was, I think, um, by the time I had dyed my hair, it just, it was very evident that I needed to change my hair care routine. And so, um, I want to show you products I got from two years ago, and two years ago and last year, and some of these products I haven't used because I ended up getting quite a bit of them, um, and I haven't been able to finish all of them, but so for shampoo and conditioner, more shampoo and conditioning, so for the shampoo and conditioner, this is the Giovanni uh, Repair and Conditioner Shampoo. This is an amazing, amazing brand. Um, I lived abroad and in living abroad, I realized that I simply should not be using a uh, heavier shampoo like this Ordinary Shampoo, which is a fantastic cleaning shampoo, but this is not something you should use, I think, uh, if you use your if you wash your hair, maybe I think like I, I, I use this Sometimes once a month and sometimes every two weeks. So depending on what's happening with my hair and depending on um, You know, I guess how much this shampoo cleanses, but this has been very effective and I love the Giovanni um, the Giovanni shampoo. So I have the Giovanni shampoo here. I have the conditioner and I have I okay I have this I have the opened bottle conditioner and then um, I have the repair conditioner. Um, this is for when I bleach my hair and this is great this I mean actually it's um, oh no oh this is just a regular conditioner um, I meant the intensive hair mask and this is great this is a uh, a great hair mask I I love this hair mask it's it's great 
Um, so I have these Giovanni products and they work well, but, um, but the ordinary for a great cleaning shampoo. Um, this is a great cleaning shampoo and the ordinary's conditioner as well. If you are looking to have, like if you have, for some reason your hair is too oily and there's so much dirt in it, um, I feel like, you know, sometimes I end up, if, if I don't want to like shampoo two times with like a moisturizing shampoo or like sometimes three times depending on what's happening with my hair, I would just end up using the Ordinary's um, shampoo and conditioner. And then I also have, uh, let me, I have the Hask uh, protein smoothing shampoo. And the interesting about the shampoo, and I also have uh, the Hask protein smoothing conditioner i have more of the conditioners i have like i have two more bottles of the conditioners but um this was an interesting shampoo um i should have used it when i bleached my hair but i did not use it when i bleached my hair and um to say that it works is an understatement my hair was bigger which is why you see that I have barely used it because I actually completely stopped using it because I, it was just making my hair it was giving me basically protein treatment and at the same time I have this this thing also works um, I think sometimes I have the expectation that some products do not work um, but this Botanica protein treatment um, the Mender protein treatment this absolutely works and it will make it will, it will definitely make your hair stronger and and so I completely stopped using uh, any protein based shampoo because I or like keratin based shampoo because I didn't exactly need um, you know to kind of like to make my hair thicker I simply needed to moisturize my hair so these are the shampoos and conditioners that I have um, I've been using the tag the uh, label is off here but this is three minute miracle Aussie and I've been using this since college and I love this this product it's it's a great product. I use it to detangle my hair actually. I don't detangle my hair uh, when I'm like regularly conditioning my hair but I will end up adding this conditioner sometimes on top of the conditioner if I want to wash quickly but um, but if I take a second conditioning I'll just detangle my hair when I have um, when I have this that um, it's I think it's a conditioner it's not obviously it's not a leave-in um what else i want to review um i don't know if this is a review actually but okay so two years ago when i um dyed my hair red my hair became bigger it became coarser and one of the things that i ended up getting first was detangler and I actually don't have, I have thick hair generally, but I usually don't get detangler. There was two other bottles of, that I finished. I do have the Cantu bottle detangler, but I ended up giving it to my roommate. And, um, but here I have the uh, Aunt Jockey's. Um, the stuff is great. I, I like it, but since my hair is is not um, long enough. I don't think I'll be using the tanglers. And I also have the Earth Supply um, detangler. The thing about detanglers is that for some reason they seem to leave my hair 
uh, with like some product and almost like a health product build up and as a result of that I completely stopped using the detanglers because I didn't want to like you know I, sometimes I was forced to shampoo a few times because I would use the detangler before I wash not after I wash because um, I just felt like it was coating my hair to the point that there was no point in applying any different product after applying a detangler. So I would like to let me know how you use detanglers because I am not, I, I don't know how to use a de detangler if I'm not going to wash my hair because um, it just simply coats my hair too much and I feel like, you know, my hair is going to become drier because the detangler is like blocking all the moisture out. Um, I ha I used, this is the, this is the Emerge Back to Life hair mask and um, so this is a deep conditioner and it's for uh, for moisture, frizz free, curl definition. In all honesty, it didn't exactly work on me, but I did finish the bottle, as you can see. Um, I also didn't want it to go to waste, so I did end up using it, but I was mixing it with a little bit more conditioner. So um, this is meant to be moisturizer. Um, you know, like it says, Emerge for Naturals, Back to Life, Hair Mask, for Curly, Coily, Textures. Um, this is meant to be moisturizing, but because I am using moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, I don't know why this is, it just didn't feel as moisturizing as my own conditioner for some reason. Um, I know people who love this product, but for some reason, I don't know. I also did use this last year. I just have the em empty bottle because um, it's been, something has been sitting on top of it, so I never got thrown it out. Um, so I, I finished this last year, and um, that was what I still had dye on my hair, but... Um, but I don't know, I, I didn't end up getting more of this because um, it wasn't as moisturizing as I was expecting it. Maybe I just wanted it, I expected it to be a lot more. Okay, so the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I like this. Um, I tried the TGIN Leave-In Conditioner first. I actually used two bottles of that before I started using this. I also used another leave-in conditioner before I started using this as well. And those two other leave-in conditioners, my hair loved and loved and loved. Especially the TGIN, honestly, that was, that's an amazing, amazing leave-in conditioner. Um, it also lasted a very long time. I, I had like two of the smaller bottles and it was like 2021, like after May 2020, I like my hair in May 2021. So it was after May 2021 when I, um, when I used it. I think I used two bottles for like, for a very long time, for several, several months. And so, um, this one, I used it while my hair was bleached and it's very interesting because I can't tell if it was that my hair was obviously in a very different state, it was a very damaged state, but um, I guess I also expected this to be more moisturizing and um, it wasn't as moisturizing as the TGIN, so um, so that that was interesting. Yeah, I do like it. I like I like this leave-in conditioner. Um, I am going to finish this bottle um, as my hair grows um, because I'll, I'll I'll probably need it anyway. Um, 
Okay, so I got this. I haven't used this at all. Um, however, I have this. And basically, they're the exact same product. However, this one is in a mousse form and it has isobutane in it. So um, I started using this on my bleached hair and at first and at the beginning it would work like it would like um, it wasn't I mean like any type of hair that I put on my head when my hair was bleached my hair will uh, kind of like become flatter and it will quickly become like like it's wet but isobutane is alcohol and um, it can be drying and if you have dyed hair, especially bleached hair, I don't think this would be a good product for like long-term moisturizing. I should have used this one, um, but this one, this was the first one that I grabbed. So I probably will not, um, I don't know, you know, I don't want to waste these products. I have them around and um, it makes me sad because I definitely would not want to waste them because I also have this um, I think I would I definitely preferred the this uh, the TGIN over the Aussie ones and um, but I also don't want to actually want to try it authentically um, and like see how it truly works on me because uh, trying this I definitely understand now that yes if I have um, if I have like a, you know when my hair is not uh, colored I will be able to use this maybe in a way that will style my hair very well and uh, and but yeah I mean I after shower I end up using this instead of um, instead of the Aussie ones and so for random products that um, going to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and getting random products has been one of the most fascinating experiences because I got this blessed professional hair care and basically it's a hair mask but it, it has the consistency of um, a little bit like a conditioner and it says argan oil and biotin hair mask and I finished this thing very well um, very very well Ugh, the smell is still I'm not a perfume person. I do not like um, perfume and products. I like perfume uh, on its own, but when it comes to products, I am not a perfume person. This has, I think it must have a strong perfume. Yeah, parfum. So, um, yeah, this has a very strong perfume in it, um, but I, this is an amazing product. Um, I think they maybe it will be even more amazing if they did not use perfume in it because most of the time perfume ends up uh, drying out people's hair and you know or skin when when it's a product and so um, people prefer not to have perfume at all and I definitely would think this product will be so much better this product is amazing 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 the uh, blessed blessed I think it's blessed professional hair care so uh, another very random um, I can't remember if this is from I don't think this is random actually living proof has been um, I've heard about living proof as a as a um, living proof Carl Elongator for coils. I haven't used this at all. Um, so, um, 
it's not open, maybe when my hair grows, if I have the patience to, I don't think I'll have the patience to, um, to hold on to these, but maybe like, you know, I guess once my hair is like at least two, three inches long, it wouldn't be as bad to use these. Um, I have this Carol, da Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. This product is extremely interesting. Um, so no silicone, no paraben, no uh, petrolata, mineral oil, artificial colors. So this product has great ingredients and it has, um, it's, it's meant to be very good for your hair. For some reason, it was extremely heavy on my hair. And um, as you can see, I haven't used this at all. And um, yes, what I plan on doing this is actually, I'm planning on using this for to style. Um, I use heavier products if I actually want to style my hair, but I don't think I, this was for some, I don't know why it was extremely heavy on my hair. Like I can't figure out what's in it. Um, it also unfortunately has perfume though. Um, it says it has honey, but I just assumed that they actually meant maybe the actual honey and not like the honeycomb, which can make the product a little bit heavier, but I actually don't mind when it's like a beeswax type of ingredient and that makes a product a little bit like heavier and thicker. Um, I might use it, um, but if it is beeswax that's making this product a little bit heavy, I don't know for some reason it has come out to be, um, it has come out to be very heavy. So I just saved it to use to style but not to wear when, you know, I'm not like, like on a regular, um, on a regular hair, um, hair week or, or day. Um, shea butter. I haven't finished this as well. Um, but I also have coconut oil and you can see that um, actually it's like halfway it's not as um, it's not as full as it seems um, both shea butter and coconut oil were a little heavy on my head actually um, my hair loves and loves and loves and loves coconut oil oh my god to say my hair loves to say my hair loves coconut oil is just a complete understatement um my hair absolutely loves it but i am not able to use coconut oil because the smell is not something that i can keep um i can keep on my head um like I'm gonna wash my hair tonight, so I'm gonna like put it on my hair, but the smell of coconut for some reason. Um, one time I tried to see if I can like wear it as a regular, um, maybe like as a cream, and if I can like use it to, in combination with like, uh, or like to make it into a cream and like make it, in, or, or use it as an oil as well, but um, my hair loved it. My hair was felt very soft and, um, and it just looked great. It was shiny, but the smell was not something that I could stand. So I had to unfortunately stop using it. Um, what I'm going to do now, because my hair loves coconut oil and as I have like very short hair is 
um, since I'm not conditioning my hair and I'm not using the shampoo's conditioner, I'm going to do reverse shampoo, reverse condition and then shampoo. I'm going to condition with coconut oil before I wash my head. Or I'm going, I guess, to condition my scalp. And then I am going to I'm going to shampoo my hair because unfortunately as amazing as the benefits of coconut oil have been for me, I, I just don't know how to, the smell was just not something, um, I, yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with the smell and it has been extremely interesting to realize um, coconut oil can have you know that it lingers actually also it doesn't like it doesn't like go out of your hair after like hours or like a day um, it still sits on your hair and so um, I had one time where I left it I think maybe for like three or four days and I couldn't even last a week so I ended up washing it I have it the emerge gel I like this gel. This is, um, um, yeah. I'm actually not a gel person. I mean, I, um, I'm scared that a gel, gel kind of dries out your hair, does it not? So, um, so I have been using the Camille Rose in very, very, very like small amounts because it has. Uh, quite a bit of it has like a vanilla smell to it and um, I yeah I'm not I think I have an issue with like a lot of strong smell and the um, well I do I, I have I have a lot more I just prefer products that didn't have a lot of smell on them so um, these are products I got because I wanted to try all of them and um, I've actually been I've actually tried you know made understanding of some of these products and <coughs> but some of um, I am more interested I think in exploring and so um, I know that some of the products I probably will not get again um, but if I need, for example, if I need to get, um, you know, like the Carol's daughter and like, I would say this is probably, this will work great for me when, um, if I apply maybe like, if I want to sleep back my hair or, um, just basically to use it as a styling product instead of something I leave on my hair because um, um, for me I am not I don't think I like the heavier products not too many too much perfume sometimes perfume is okay but it just has to be the right one um, and so this is hopefully about making sense of hair care at different levels um, just because I think I also understood that just because I somehow shaved my head it doesn't mean that I need to go out and get like an entire different set of hair care um, actually there was a girl that I was watching on YouTube she talked about how she got rid of every single one of her hair products and I thought but wait a minute, you still need to shampoo your hair, you know, you can't shampoo your hair with regular soap because regular soap simply is not good for your scalp. And so, um, so it has been interesting. I wish I could get rid of every single thing, to be honest, um, because, I mean, part of the freedom seeking and hoping to be a little bit free is not having all of these products around but I had them because before I shaved my head, so um, I'm trying in many ways not to waste the product. And um, I feel 
yeah, I don't feel comfortable in wasting some of these products, so that's the issue. So I've been trying to find different ways in using them and um, trying to make sense of the hair care. If you have made it to the end of the video, please tell me about your hair care and I would love to have more conversation with people and also please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.